National Deve Development Minister Lawrence Wong refuted comments by the Singapore Democratic Party's chairman, Dr. Paul Tambaya. Now, Dr. Tambaya had said that the COVID-19 multi-ministry task force shouldn't have been front and centre when the outbreak intensified in Singapore. Instead, it should have allowed health experts to overrule the committee. Mr. Wong hit back, describing Dr. Tambaya's remarks as baseless and false allegations. Speaking at a press conference this morning, Mr. Wong said the task force has always relied on scientific evidence, as well as the advice of medical experts in coming up with decisions. Medical experts are an integral part of our team. We involve them in all our deliberations. And every time Minister Gan Kim Yong and I do a press conference, we have the Director of Medical Services with us. Mr. Wong also rebutted Dr. Tambaya's comments that the Manpower Ministry was to blame for a February advisory that asked employers not to get their workers tested. This advisory was issued after an infection at Salita Aerospace Park. It was not mum that unilaterally issued the advisory. It was the doctors and medical experts that had requested mum to put out the advisory to their employers. You know, I fully respect Professor Tambaya as a leading expert in his field. But it is very disappointing that he has deliberately chosen to distort the facts just to try and score some political points. Manpower Minister Josephine Teo, who was out on a walkabout in Jalan Besar GRC, also explained why the advisory was needed. She said that the opposition has twisted the situation and that the Manpower Ministry had never said that those who were sick shouldn't get tested. PAP's Marine Parade candidate Dr Tan Si Ling said that when one looks at factors like fatality rate and the number of ICU patients, the government has done its best. Separately, Workers' Party's Leon Pereira said on Facebook that the party's manifesto has an entire chapter about tackling the pandemic, adding that WP has also held webinars with experts on the topic. Progress Singapore Party Chief Dr Tan Cheng Bok proposed a televised debate. Him and Dr Tambaya on one side facing off against Trade and Industry Minister Chan Chun Singh and Health Minister Gan Kim Yong. But Dr Tan declined to share what plans he would bring up if the debate takes place. He was responding to earlier remarks by Mr Chan that the opposition has left out COVID-19 management from their manifestos and discussions. 136 new COVID-19 cases were reported today, including 18 in the community. These comprise six Singaporeans or permanent residents and 12 work pass holders. Five of the community cases were close contacts of earlier cases and had already been placed on quarantine. There are also seven imported cases, all of whom had been on stay-home notice since arriving in Singapore.